clinical trials are the ways in which almost all new medical treatments are taken out of research laboratories and initial periods of testing into real world situations that actually impact and benefit patients. And actually, no, it was 2021, I think, um, when um, I had a seizure. And that was as a consequence of a, a lesion that had grown in my brain, which turned out to be um, a recurrence of melanoma. It's true, melanoma is actually often called the great masquerader. It can look like anything and it can spread to any organ and start off small but then grow very, very quickly. And it, it's one of those conditions that um, disproportionately affects young working age people and compared to other tumour types is, is one that spreads everywhere, especially to the brain. Uh, when I was told I had melanoma of the eye, it was a cancer of my eyeball that I'd never even heard about completely blew me away and I didn't think eye cancer was a thing. And having discussed it with my wife, we, we just thought that we need to give ourselves every chance of, you know, beating this. And the clinical trial was certainly the, in our view, was the, the way to throw everything at it. Collaborative clinical trials groups are organisations that support and develop clinical trials that address key healthcare questions that are very relevant to patients and also health care systems that remain after an initial wave of new therapies comes onto the scene. At its core, Melanoma and Skin Cancer Trials is a national network that includes not only centres in metro areas, but in a large number of regional areas. So we directly work with regional partners to do everything we can to make sure that our trials are available in those centres to patients living in those regional areas. I've seen firsthand um, how these clinical trials have changed my patients' lives. 20 years ago, there was only chemotherapy. 10 years ago, some targeted therapies came through. Now there are all new classes, immunotherapies and combined targeted therapies with chemotherapies. Trials that can get up for not just melanoma, but for any types of cancers that are like the one I've been on, I just can't, can't think that there's any reason why you wouldn't have as many of them as financially possible. There's always a lot more work to be done with research. Um, it's about raising the bar and getting there. And you know, one day the vision is that, that these patients, um, uh, their cancer is well controlled and they, they live a normal life the way you would think about blood pressure or, or diabetes. So if I knew of somebody that had ocular melanoma and was interested in going on a trial, I would tell them that there are absolutely options, there are always options, and that they needed to talk to their specialist or an oncologist, and if they didn't have either, they could reach out and I'd certainly be able to point them in the right direction. The best part of working with melanoma and skin cancer trials is you've got a wonderful team that's all committed to improving the lives of patients with melanoma and skin cancer and willing to work above and beyond to, to help this patient population and um, it's really nice to work with a team that has the same shared objectives. Oh, look, my advice to people that are working on treatments and cures for um, melanoma and other skin cancers is don't stop, keep doing what you're doing, you're brilliant people and you're saving lives, like mine. <laughs>